the amount of time, money, and effort it takes to prepare for retirement will surprise you. To make it worse, retiring this year is even more difficult due to the intensifying pressure of inflation. Investors and lenders will benefit from it, but the impact will be less favorable to savers. Inflation is quickly decreasing the value of dollars, which in turn harms the purchasing power of people. Even the global financial market cannot avoid, or at the very least, soften the hit. Employed people are even more susceptible to the risks connected with the economic volatility. But thankfully, dividend ETFs have brought awareness to investors. They provide a sense of security, particularly for the beginners, in that you will earn consistent returns. So what are ETFs all about? Which ones are the best dividend paying ETFs? And how can you live off these dividends? Well, let's find out. For those who might be new to the financial jargon, in the most basic form, dividends are a percentage of a company's earnings delivered to the shareholders meeting certain requirements. They are eligible to pay out yearly, semi-annually, or quarterly. However, it's important to remember that both public and private corporations can pay dividends. Still, not all companies do so. It's not part of their required legal obligation. But first, before investing in ETFs, you need to have a clear idea of your objectives. If you know what you want from your investments, you can turn them into wonderful passive income sources. However, you must remember that not all investments result in dividends being paid out. You can consider becoming a short-term trader, which may seem dangerous, but it can result in immediate financial gain. Investing in exchange-traded funds when the price is low and then selling it when it rises can be a promising strategy. But this is for those who may not place a high value on dividends, which is perfectly acceptable. However, this can be difficult, particularly when the prices fluctuate negatively or sideways. If, on the other hand, you want a slow, quiet ride, exchange-traded funds can be a reliable source of income. Most commonly, they are designed for people without time to check the market continuously. And since dividends are consistent, they are good candidates for investments with a long time frame. So how can you live off these dividends and which of these ETFs should you look into? Number 1. The Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility Exchange Traded Fund As the name implies, the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF offers investors a unique opportunity to capitalize on a carefully curated selection of stocks from the S&P 500. The ETF is designed to focus on stocks that delivered the highest dividends while maintaining low volatility levels, providing investors with the best of both worlds, income and stability. One of this ETF's key strength lies in its diversification approach. Rather than relying heavily on specific sectors, the fund adapts a well-balanced strategy spreading assets across a broader spectrum of stocks. Doing so mitigates risks associated with concentration and potential sector-specific volatility. The funds' management team implements a rebalancing process twice a year, ensuring the portfolio meets changing market conditions. While the expense ratio of 0.30% may seem slightly higher than some alternatives, its benefits far outweigh the costs. Investors gain access to a well-constructed portfolio of dividends-rich stocks with lower volatility, providing potential protection during challenging market conditions. One significant advantage of this ETF is its impressive track record of delivering steady income. With focus on high dividend yielding stocks, investors can expect more frequent payouts, receiving monthly dividends instead of the conventional quarterly schedule. This predictable income stream is particularly valuable for retirees or those seeking regular cash flow to manage their expenses effectively. Over the past five years, the ETF has demonstrated an annual total return of 45%, which might appear relatively lower than the SP 500's 80%. However, it's essential to consider the trade-off this entails. The low volatility aspect of the ETF has proven its resilience, especially during turbulent market periods. For instance, while the SP500 index incurred a 4% loss last year, the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF achieved a 5.3 gain, 
further exemplifying its ability to weather market downturns. Among its bucket of 51 stocks, investors can find reputable dividend aristocrats, including well-known favorites like AbbVie, Chevron, and Kraft Heinz, which are favored by the legendary investor Warren Buffett himself. These influential holdings contribute to the fund's annual dividend of $1.6 per share, boasting an impressive dividend yield of 3.65%, more than three times that of the S&P 500's yield at 1.3%. The significance of this dividend yield becomes evident when considering the positive impact on investors' finances, especially during periods of inflation. Owning 100 shares translate to an extra $13 per month, providing additional financial stability when needed the most. The Vanguard High Dividend Yield Exchange Traded Fund. This one stands out as an excellent investment option for people seeking to maximize their dividend income while enjoying the benefits of a low-cost investment. With an impressively low expense ratio of just 0.06%, this ETF is highly cost-effective, allowing investors to retain most of their incomes. The primary objective of the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF is to track the performance of the FTSC High Dividend Yield Index. This index is designed to measure the investment return of stocks with high dividend yields making it an ideal choice for income-oriented investors, prioritizing consistent dividend payments. The ETF focuses on large-cap value companies that operate in stable industries including healthcare, financials, consumer goods, energy, and industrials. These industries often provide products and services that are considered essential, leading to consistent demand and recurring purchases, regardless of market conditions. By investing in such companies, the ETF offers a level of stability and reliability that is appealing to income-seeking investors. With over 400 stocks included in this portfolio, the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF is well diversified. This wide-ranging approach helps spread risks and exposes investors to a broad spectrum of high dividend yielding companies. To further manage the risk, to further manage the risk, the ETF limits its asset weight to 23.4% in its top 10 holdings reducing over-resilience on any single company. Moreover, in the top 10 holdings of the ETF, investors can find several esteemed dividend kings, including Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, and Coca-Cola. These companies have an impressive track record of increasing dividends of over 50 consecutive years, which bodes well for the ETF's continued dividend growth. Currently, the ETF boasts an annual dividend of $3.10 per share, translating to an average quarterly payout of $0.78 per share. It's an attractive dividend yield of 2.79%, surpasses the S&P 500's 1.3, and even exceeds the long-term average of the S&P 500 dividend at 1.86%. What makes the dividend yield even more appealing is the remarkably low expense ratio of 0.06%, which is just a fraction of the ratios of other comparable ETFs in the market. This cost efficiency allows investors to retain more of their dividends, enhancing their overall returns. Over the past five years, the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF has demonstrated a total return of 70%. This places its share price growth in the middle of the pack among similar ETFs, surpassing the fact set segment average of 42%. Such robust performance showcases the ETF's ability to deliver steady returns to its investors. Number 3. Wisdom Tree US Large Cap Dividend Fund This one stands as a distinguished offering in the realm of dividend-focused exchange-traded funds. As its name implies, the DLN provides investors with the exposure to large cap equities with a unique approach to asset weighing based on dividends. This innovative strategy has earned DLN a solid reputation as a compelling choice for income-oriented investors, especially retirees, seeking consistent returns with a focus on stability and risk management. The methodology behind its asset weighing makes DLN unique from other ETFs in its segment. The fund's benchmark utilizes dividends as a key factor to determine the allocation of assets. By doing so, DLN tilts its portfolio towards companies with a history of delivering high dividend yields. This approach resonates well with investors seeking to harness the power of dividends. 
Its portfolio comprises a total of 300 holdings, a number that surpasses the average count of stocks found in ETF within the same segment. This plays a crucial role in mitigating risk. With over 300 carefully selected stocks in the basket, the ETF provides investors with a well-balanced and resilient investment option. While approximately 37% of its assets are allocated to the top 15 holdings, DLN avoids an over-concentration in a handful of companies. It fosters a risk-aware approach, which is especially vital for retirees who depend on consistency and dependable income streams to support their financial needs. Astonishingly, 50% of the fund's dividend holdings belong to an elite group of companies renowned for their steadfast and consistent dividend payment. The targeted focus on established firms with a strong dividend track record gives DLN an edge in delivering reliable and attractive dividends to its investors. The efficacy of DLN's dividend-centric approach is vividly demonstrated by its outstanding five-year total returns of 81%, significantly surpassing the segment average of 22%. This remarkable performance aligns closely with the performance of the S&P 500 further underscoring the fund's ability to deliver competitive returns while emphasizing the importance of dividends in a well-rounded investment strategy. It is essential to acknowledge that higher total returns come with a slightly higher expense ratio when compared to some other ETFs in the market. At 0.28%, the expense ratio for DLN is indeed marginally higher than 0.06% offered by Vanguard's ETF as mentioned earlier. However, for investors who prioritize a dividend-focused approach over market cap weighting, the potential for higher total returns can compensate for the slightly higher expense ratio. Quite a mind-blowing video, right? So which ETF would you consider investing in and why? Comment down below. In the meantime, want a surefire way to level up your financial game? Well, subscribing to my channel is the secret passcode, and then, once you're in, you'll gain access to a gold mine of fresh videos about financial planning and budgeting. But wait, there's more. Glide your eyes below to discover a super special link. Click it, and voila, my monthly budget tracker will swoosh you like financial superheroes, making money management feel like a cakewalk. Don't hesitate, hit the subscribe button now and let's embark on this money-saving journey together. Your wallet will thank you, and your future self will shout, Hooray!